another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to successfully bring a GIF animation into iMovie. I have uh, jumped through fire hoops trying to figure this out because on a Mac, it is not intuitive for iMovie to understand that you are trying to import a GIF inside of a movie project. And you want to probably put a GIF in um, as an overlay onto your iMovie for a picture-in-picture -picture type of modification. There is no way to do this. If you go ahead and simply download a GIF, which I've done here, and uh, bring it up on a Mac to try to do it or play it, what renders, which I will show you, is individual uh, pictures. So it understands it as a composite of a number of pictures that it is trying to read. It doesn't read it as an animated GIF or GIF. Okay, so this is our challenge is to make iMovie understand that this GIF is animated, bring it into iMovie, use it as an overlay, and um, or even uh, use it for looping purposes. So let's get started. This is not as hard as it seems. Let me go ahead and close that down. What we're going to do, first of all, is you'll need a GIF. So go on Google, uh, type in uh, animated GIFs, type in the type of animation that you're looking for. Over here I just did a love rose type of uh, search and I got this uh, tenor.com area which seems to have a number of really nice GIFs going for it. And I've chosen to download uh, this GIF over here and you just simply download it by on a Mac, dragging and dropping onto your desktop, which I have done already over here. So basically you just hold down your left mouse key on any of the GIFs that you want and drag it over to your desktop. So we have our GIF over here. Not going to waste time showing you guys how to do that. And the next thing you're going to have to do is go onto a, a website that I will show you. And it is called um, Easy gif.com okay go ahead and do that and this is a uh, free website a very nice website here and it does a number of things it, it you can do a gif maker you can uh, resize crop do gif optimizer PNG optimizer JPEG optimizer it has a number of various different things that you can do uh, to animate GIFs and make them easy. What we are going to be doing basically is uh, psyching out iMovie to think of the GIF as an MP4. Okay, so um, what we need to do is go over here to video to GIF. Hopefully this will work. Uh, we choose our GIF file, the one that we just downloaded, so the one right here on the desktop. So click uh, choose file and then of course you're going to go over here do tenor gif i'm going to open that and uh, just go ahead and hit upload okay there you go now for some strange reason i have to go back to video um, video to gif converter and click uh, GIF to MP4 and I don't know why this glitches like that but let's go ahead and choose the file one more time sorry about that guys I don't know why this seems to do that open it up click upload and there it is now you can see the GIF over here and you see it's twinkling this is the GIF actually playing itself through and it's on an endless loop uh, so the only thing that we can't do, guys, in iMovie once we bring it in as an MP4 is have it do a continuous loop in and of itself, okay? so But I'll show you a quick workaround uh, to get that done. So once you have it up on this easygif.com, go ahead and click Convert to MP4, okay? And uh, go ahead and click Save. 
and it's going to save it back down to your download um, area so I'm going to show it in my finder and there it is this is the one that we just did and for some reason it, it just names it easy GIF blah blah whatever the sequencing is so we'll just remember that that is the two so we'll go back to iMovie and uh, what I want to do is go ahead and drag this into the um, my media folder my media project area which I have open so I'm going to drag it in here you see the little plus sign and it drags it in it's all, all of um, five seconds there let me go ahead and down and delete those and what I want to do basically is uh, just drag this as an overlay onto my main video that I'm playing here and have it play as a picture in picture so right now it's going to play it's going to kind of obliterate my other uh, movie down below here so I'm just going to go ahead and hit picture in picture and uh, let's see that and then I'm going to just make it a little bigger. Hold down your control key so that you keep your aspect ratio the same. And I'm just going to put it over here. And it's just for fun. Okay. And then let's drag it back here. And see. And there it is. Now it's very quick. It's only like six uh, point, uh, half a second long, really. There it is. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to have this um, go a little longer, but you can't, because it's a movie, you can't make it longer. You can't drag it, as you can see here. I, I have no ability to make it any longer than it is, because iMovie treats it as a very tiny, tiny little MP4 movie. So what I will do is I'll go ahead and do a Command-C for copy, and then I will go to the end of this uh, you know, little video sequence, sequence and um, basically hit Control V or Command V, obviously. And what you want to do is really make sure that it's butting up against each other, okay? And now when you play it, you see how it's getting longer? So you can go ahead and make it as long as you want. Just get to the end of the next one, hit your Command V again. Hit your command V as many times as you want. I'll do it three times. Let's say I want this to loop that many times. And now when I play it, voila. Okay? So that's how you do a, a loop back, and that's how you psych um, iMovie into uh, trying to s make sure that it is a um, it is a kind of a loop back GIF. Um, I literally spent um, hours trying to figure this out and I hope this helps you guys because I know a lot of you want to uh, do a nice uh, animated inset overlay on your iMovie and again uh, there's no other way around this guys except to convert it into an mp4 uh, program and then to do your looping again just copy and paste it side by side by side for the duration that you want um, and then just play it on there. I hope this has helped. Thank you so much for viewing my video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this type of video and leave a comment below. I hope that I have uh, saved you a, a lot of time in figuring this out. I hope that you enjoy making your iMovies and I'll catch you here in my next video. Bye bye.